On Tuesday, we found out that the U.S. Consumer Price Index rose slightly more than expected in June. The U.K. GDP expanded by 1.8% in May on the month, below expectations of 5.5%. Industrial production up by 12.4% in Euro area and 11.4% in the EU. And the Swiss National Bank said expansive policy is more necessary than ever. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Wednesday, we'll be watching the UK inflation rate, Bank of Canada's interest rate decision, New Zealand's inflation rate, and Australia's jobs report. Today I'm looking at the dollar Swissy pair, which continues down the downtrend I, we identified back in May. As it's reaching the lower band of the long-term range, the pair normally moves within at 0 0.9256. So we'll continue to eye this support level once it's reached to determine the next direction for the pair. Do you think the dollar Swissy pair can reach this level without being interrupted by US dollar bulls? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.